Okay, lah. So I got one line here. So by the time when Andy cross the finishing line, that means he's here. Uh, when Andy is here, uh, he was 100 meter ahead of Ben. So Ben is here. And 200 meters. Eh. Okay, wait. So so here is 100 meters. 100 meter. And 200 meters ahead of Chris. So Chris is here. Chris. But um, the distance is also 100 meters. So 100 meters here and uh, 100 meters here, right? So that, this is when Andy reaches this part. Now, this whole race, right, is 600 meters. So if this is 100 meters, 100 meters, uh, what's left over here will be 400, correct? Because the, the from start to finish is 600 meters, right? So the, the question, okay, you see, at this point, I still don't know what's going on, uh, what the question is about. You know, I just try to fill in uh, information that I can deduce from my from my uh, diagram, uh, right? This is 600, uh, 100, 100. So, so let's continue. So how far was Chris uh, when Ben completed the race? Okay, so DST ratio. Now, uh, how do I know it's a DST ratio? Because uh, if you look at the whole thing, right, they didn't give you any time, did they give you any speed. They, they never right they never give time they never give speed they only give like uh the information for distance right so it should look like this the so we got the a b c all right so by the time a completed 600 meters b only completed 500 uh, and c only completed 400 so the ratio in terms of the distance between A, B, C is actually 6 is to 5 is to 4, correct? The distance, the distance ratio, 6, 5, 4, correct? 6 is to 5 is to 4. This is the distance. And we can actually deduce about uh, speed as well as time, right? But uh, I think for this question, we don't need to because uh, they're asking how far was Chris from the finishing line when Ben completed the race. So what we do is we just look at the, the uh, between Ben and Chris. We just focus on this one, right? So if, if Ben finished the race, okay, because the distance that a Ben, between Ben and Chris is five to four. So let's set up another one for both of them. So imagine now I have another race where there's only Ben and Chris. There's only Ben and Chris, right? In this in this new one, um, and I divide into five parts. Uh, one, two, oh, oops, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, wait, let me draw again. <coughs> let me divide into five parts. One, two, three, four. Okay, why do I divide into five parts? Because uh, Ben five units, ma, distance, distance of five. What this means is that by the time Ben reached here, right, which is he completed five units, where is Chris? Okay, can you tell me where where is Chris? By the time Ben start from uh, from here starting point all the way to the finish point, where where do you think Chris is? Ah, where is Chris? Uh, on the blue color line. <laughs> okay, one, no problem, right? Uh, my, my question is this, if you, if uh, we look at this table, we ignore A, we ignore A, I don't care, don't care about A. Uh, we know that the distance between B and C is uh, 5 is to 4. That means when B finish 5, C will only finish 4 units. Right? When B, B finish 5, so C will finish 4. So in my blue color diagram, this is like uh, 5 units, right? Because here is uh, 1 U, 1 U, 1 U, 1 unit. So 5 units. Ben completed 5 units, right? So where is C on the diagram? When, when Ben finished 5 units, where is Chris? 
So the, the clue is we look at this, right? 4, right? Uh, so, yeah, so Chris, Chris, Chris is here. When Ben finish 5, Chris will only finish 4. Alright, so, uh, complete 4. So, so now the question is how far was Chris from the finishing line when Ben completed the race? So now this whole race is, uh, we know it's 600. This only is 600 meters, right? 600 meters. Ah, oh, do you have a five? Do you have a five unit? Yeah, so if we take 120, that's oh, sorry, 600, that's oh, sorry, 600 uh, divided by five, we get 120. So one unit is 120. Yeah, so the question is uh, when Ben is here, C is 120 away, 120 meters away. Yeah, so it's a, it's a DST ratio, you know, but yeah, but, but don't need S and don't need T. Yeah. Just, just look at the, the ratio between the distance of this 3%. Right, you don't, have to, you don't have to use speed, you don't have to use time. You just need to look at the ratio. Yeah. That's all for this one.